welcome to this video where we will be discussing about the air system ownership. We'll cover both main system of air and the auxiliary system of the air, which is called a service air system. So as we can see, we have three compressors, main one and the one you see in the front is the service air compressor. In this video, as we move forward, we will discuss more about them in detail. So the usually ship has three main air compressors or can have more, but this is the ideal setup that you usually see on the ship. So these compressors compress the air at a higher pressure somewhere around 20 to 30 bar and it is stored in the air bottles, which we will see soon in the video. After the air is compressed by the main compressors, it is stored in these two starting air bottles. Generally, we have two on the ship. They can be vertical or horizontal. The compressor that you see in front is the emergency air compressor. We will discuss about that later. So as you can see, this is the big valve which supplies the air to the main engine. So you have two both of them. And you have other valves also which supply generators and the control air system as well. We will show you the main starting air valve of the main engine shortly. So this is the reducer station which reduces the 30 bar air to 7 bar as per the need of the engine. And this is the pressure switches which control the start and stop of the compressors. And uh, the air bottle that you see in front, small ones, they are separately for the generators. Two of them are here and the pressure is somewhere around 20 bar right now. At sea you keep little bit less pressure and these are the drain valves for this. In front you see two uh, control air dryers because the control air should be free from any kind of moisture to prevent it from the damage caused by the moisture. So we have two uh, air control dryers, uh, only this is the setup. So they cool down the air below the dew point. This is service air bottle. Service air is being used for pneumatic tools and for cleaning, etc. So this is a small bottle and have a pressure of around 7 bar usually. And uh, this is the pressure switch to start stop the compressor. Emergency compressors usually that we see is used for uh, starting the generator when you have completely no power on the ship. This is driven by the emergency generator. So let's say when you are in the shipyard or you are taking the ship. First thing, this is the comp This is the main starting air valve and it takes air from the big uh, air bottle that you shown and it goes all the way up to the engine for starting it. Let's see the starting of the engine. 